Hey everyone, Justine here, the Twilight Stamper, and today we're going to be creating an adorable jellyfish card featuring the Sending Sunshine card kit from Create a Smile Stamps. Christine will be stocking these about a hundred more in four weeks, so don't be alarmed if they're not available right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some circle dies from W plus 9 and lay them on the front of my card base and stick them down with some washi tape. What we're going to do is called inlay die cutting, which means we're going to have a bunch of die cuts on our card, but it's going to be on the same layer as the actual card base itself. So I'm sending everything through the machine um, in the beginning so that we can get prepared for making the card. So just bear with me. So I just finished die cutting the two biggest areas and I'm going to go in and cut a couple of more circles out here. We're going to create sort of a collage of different patterned papers and as I said it's going to sit on the same layer as the card base so the card is not too bulky. I love making this look to make a clean and simple look and I really wanted those jellyfish to pop and not be distracted by the pattern paper. Okay so I cut two more and then I'm just going to go in and cut a couple more of these areas off that aren't looking too great. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run through a whole bunch of pattern paper with all the circles that we just made and it's all the pattern paper that comes in the card kit so you're getting kind of a glimpse of all the little patterned papers and I cut out more than I needed just in case that the patterns you know two yellow were laying beside each other or whatnot. Next up I cut a piece of computer paper this is just regular printer paper and I just made it so that it fit on the back of my card behind those circles and this is what's going to keep the circles in place and what the circles are going to be glued to. So as you can see I'm putting a ton of tape runner. This is actually removable adhesive. Um, well it can be removable adhesive, it doesn't have to be. It sits after a while. But because I'm going to go in and lay in my die cuts and then I have to keep taking them out as I go to make sure they all fit, I thought that would be a perfect adhesive to use to hold everything into place. Now this is a bit of a process. So I'm going to start by laying in all my circles. Again, it's on removable adhesive, so that's okay. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to grab these die cuts and tape them to the areas that are overlapping. This is a time consuming process, but again, I really like the way that the results turn out and you'll see how pretty it looks when it's all finished. So I'm going to place the washi tape strategically so that it comes over these two circles. I'm going to grab those and die cut them. Now you can see that those circles, now that I've cut them all out, fit perfectly into those areas. So again, I'm just going in, grabbing the die cut and cutting them so that they all fit into each other, if that makes sense. So it is a process, as I said, but I do like the way it turns out and I think it looks really cool. And it doesn't take that long once you get the hang of it and you know what you're doing. So for this top one, you'll see, I'm gonna lay in that die cut, grab the yellow piece, cut it, and then it'll fit exactly in there. And then lastly, I just have to do one more piece here, and that's the gray piece, and lay that in. So you can see, oh, I have one more piece, sorry. And now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna glue these down all with a permanent adhesive. I'm using Tombow liquid glue. And now they're all gonna fit perfectly together on one layer into the card. So this is one of those things where I like about card making where it looks clean and simple, but it's actually not. And people look at it and they're like, how did you do that? Now that I'm finished the complicated part, I'm going to slip you into a little bit of a faster speed here as far as the video is concerned. I'm going to go in and stamp this sentiment. I'm using Sending Sunshine and I used a Versamark or Versafine Onyx ink. It's a pigment ink. I really like that it's a fine detail ink and it really stamps sentiments really beautifully and really sharp and crisp. And the next step, I'm going to start with my jellyfish and I'm going to do some Copic coloring, which is why I'm going to put you in a faster mode because overall that does take quite a bit of time. I'm going to peel my jellyfish off here and stick it to my stamp press, ink it up with Memento ink, and I'm going to ink them, I'm going to stamp three of them, and one of them I'm going to put a small piece of paper to mask off an area so that I can have two that are attached together. I'm going to go in with a black pen and kind of fill in those areas that didn't stamp so I don't have to do a really complicated mask. Next I'm using Y11, Y13, and Y06 to create my yellow jellyfish. I'm doing a yellow, a pink, and a aquamarine color. I would say those go really well with the papers that I attached onto the background. And I'm just going simply from light, I go light, then the darkest color, medium, light, medium, dark. I kind of just kind of go in a pattern and um, if you've seen all my other Copic videos you'll see. So I'm going in with the lightest color which is RV10 here. And I'm going in with my darkest RV11 doing the shadows. Going in with my R20 and starting to blend the shadows out and then go back in with my lightest color. It's nothing complicated 
And as you can see, I'm going to cut them out so it really doesn't matter if I'm going outside the lines. And I can do that for speed. Here I'm using BG15, BG34, and BG32. Sorry, the BG32 is off screen there. And I'm going in, I cut those out fussy cutting style, so those took quite a bit of time. Went along with a black Copic marker to make them look more complete. And fill in any of those white spaces that were left over from the cutting. Sorry, I'm slightly off screen there, but I'm just running my brush tip along this side of them. And then I'm going to go in and attach those using some 3D foam tape onto my card. This is just some 3D foam tape from Stampin' Up! that I'm using. I like the size of it, especially for things like this. So I'm just adding one to the back of each jellyfish, pulling off the side to expose the adhesive, and then attaching them to my card. And I really like the way that the two are attached together, and I think that makes it look really interesting and unique. Next up, I'm folding my card base over that we were working on before. The reason why I didn't fold it over before was because we did that inlay die cutting technique and I didn't want to cut out the back of the card. And that's the end of today's card tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed this little jellyfish tutorial and that you'll subscribe and thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching.